On a day out with my family, we love nothing better than to take our picnic into the big outdoors. These beautiful fields of yellow are surely one of the visions of the British countryside. This is rapeseed in full bloom and it's gorgeous. You're probably using it in your everyday cooking and you may not even realise it. In fact, the vast majority of vegetable oil sold in the UK is actually made from 100% rapeseed. Check your bottle if you don't believe me. But not all rapeseed oil is the same. Cheap cooking oils are made using a chemical and heating process. More expensive oils are produced using a cold press method that adds nothing to the oil itself and doesn't affect the taste. Rapeseed oil farmer Duncan Farrington is going to tell me more about it. So I always thought that the oil came from the flowers. Let me just show you. Okay, Look, let's take a plant here. Right, so here's a good example. So that is a rapeseed. Right, and so that's what's pressed. Yes. And that's where you get the oil from. Yeah. Because we are cold pressing it at a low temperature, we are retaining all those natural antioxidants and um, goodies that are inside the seed. And flavour. And flavour, of course. Look at that Some, colour. So straight away you can see the colour. Now a refined oil, a lot of that colour will have gone because it will have been bleached. That's really nutty, isn't it? But it's quite subtle as well, isn't it? You can definitely appreciate the fact that that hasn't gone through any process apart from being no. squished. Squished. It's just, that's a technical term, isn't that it? That has been squished and that's where you've got <laughs> that oil from. You haven't tampered with it, it hasn't been no. messed around with, and you can taste that. Cold-pressed rapeseed oil is a brilliant British product that can be used just like the more expensive extra virgin olive oil. But how do the flavours compare? I'm meeting Dr Simon Poole, a man so passionate about extra virgin olive oil that he carries a hip flask full of it everywhere he goes. There's never oil in that. That's oil. It gives people a little bit of a surprise when I bring it out at lunchtime <laughs> and offer it to them. Can we start tasting some of these oils? Of course, absolutely. <laughs> So first of all, you might like just without exciting the oil, just oh. have a little, just have a little, little, little sniff, and then if you place the cup down, the glass down. You're being very gentle. Yes, it's a very gentle process. Okay. Oh, it's a little bit bitter. And you can get even more of that if you do what's called strapaggio, Go on. which is. <laughs> oh, that's strong. It's the most expensive one, because I've got hardly any in here. <laughs> <laughs> that one's a lot less bitter. That smells different. What can you smell? You're the expert. You can get anything from, from ripe banana through to uh, even... If you put your head in a wet hedgerow, you can sometimes smell or even taste wet hedgerow in an oil. I have never put my head in a wet hedgerow before. <laughs> I did, after hearing that some olive oils taste like that. I'll do that next time. But are you telling me you cook with olive oil every single day? I, the only oil I have in my house is extra virgin olive oil. I, I use it for everything, just as they do in the Mediterranean. Uh, and there's some evidence, in fact, that extra virgin olive oil is actually the single most healthy oil to use. And there are some antioxidants left at the end of the cooking process which again confer health benefits when we consume them with our roasted vegetables or with whatever we're cooking. Despite drinking gallons of oil, I'm still undecided as to which tastes best. Top local chef Nick Marriott has prepared me the ultimate taste test, roast potatoes. I'm going to see if I can tell the difference between cold pressed rapeseed, extra virgin olive oil and bog standard sunflower oil. I don't like being wrong, and I'm, I'm holding my fork in such a way. I know it looks like... It's like Go on now, we'll fence it. <laughs> I want to get this right. OK, so I think that one is sunflower. I'm going to taste it. Yeah. It's a good roast potato, though. Mm. <laughs> that's very crispy. That is really crispy. That's a British roast potato. Yeah. Ooh, that's dark. Look at that one. Mm. It's really different when you taste oil cold mm. you can yeah. really taste it mm. when it's cooked it takes on a completely different flavor profile Absolutely. i can't i think that's rapeseed and i think yeah. that's olive oil high five <laughs> how did i get yeah. it Absolutely. Yes. Well oh done. my god that's really good well done Fantastic. oh my god that's so cool 
You can taste the rapeseed in that one. You can taste the rapeseed. I think, overall, the rapeseed for a potato That's... was the better. So crispy, a lovely flavour. I mean, it's all too easy to have a bottle of sunflower oil or vegetable oil in the cupboard and just use that for everything. But I think, definitely, if you want to try something different, go out and get some rapeseed oil or some olive oil and give it a go, because it does Absolutely. bring some... It brings something completely different, doesn't it? Absolutely.